Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add leaderboards into your game in Roblox Studio, which is pretty easy to do. Now, I know I've been gone for a few days, but I'm finally back. Now, you want to go ahead and go into Roblox Critter Marketplace, okay? And you're going to search up leaderboard. I'll put a link to these leaderboards in the description below. But as you can see here, we have a few different ones. Now, the first leaderboard is ranked by how many deaths and kills a player has. A second leaderboard is ranked by how many minutes they've been playing the game. And then the third leaderboard is ranked by how much money they have. So there's the three really good ones right there, which is the most used leaderboards i would say but for this video we're going to go ahead and add the kills and deaths leaderboard which is a pretty common one i'm going to get the model and then you can see it's been added to my inventory now we're going to go ahead and go right back to roblox studio I'll make sure you have your toolbox open go to your toolbox go to inventory and go to my models and the first thing you should see is that there's the leaderboard that we just got from the marketplace go ahead and add that leaderboard just double click on it okay now once you do this there's going to be like a confirmation thing from the toolbox and all that it's going to say it's going to include two scripts just press ok and and then I'm going to go ahead and just check over these scripts, which you can find in the workplace in the Explorer. And I just like to look over them sometimes just to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be, of course. And after reviewing the scripts, let's go ahead and playtest the game. Now I'm in and I already died before and actually saves how many kills and deaths you had in previous games that you played. So it actually saves it so when you rejoin a game, it's still going to have the same stats, which is really cool. And then you see I can, I'm trying to kill the zombie and it's, it's not working. I've been messing around with this stuff for a little bit. I haven't made the zombie work. I'm just going to reset myself just to show you and as you can see my deaths go to two and that's how you pretty much add leaderboards to your game so i was going to do that scripting stuff because i'm not going to pretend the script when i don't know how to actually so hope you guys found this video extremely helpful if you did make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button and if you have any questions comment them below until next time goodbye